My lips look kind of crazy, but we have a lot of lip swatching to do today. I am going to be swatching and trying on some new lip products from a new cosmetic line, Nova Beauty. Honestly, I can tell you already, I've been playing with these. I am absolutely shocked at the quality of these and this is not what I was expecting for Nova Beauty to come out with. I'm so excited. So first of all, thank you to Nova Beauty for sponsoring today's video. As you guys know though, I make sure I test out the products thoroughly before I agree to a partnership. At first I wasn't sure if this was a partnership I wanted to accept or not. I got the package and right away, you know, popped some color on and I was like, oh, we're going through with this. This is an exciting video. So Nova Beauty is a new beauty line from Fashion Nova and their launch is this incredible, incredible lip line. So let me show you my first introduction to the brand, okay? This is what I received in the mail. The box was heavy and I was like, what the heck? You guys aren't ready for what you are about to witness. So I opened it, we have a mirror, kind of came broken, no biggie. All right, this thing is too big. Hold on, I gotta figure this out. Are you ready? Okay, let's hold this up. She's kind of heavy, y'all. Ah! Oh, that was not the reveal I was hoping for, but <laughs> this is the lip line that Nova Beauty has launched. This, I have been using these products and putting them back because I just like to look at this. <laughs> So we're gonna go over each product, each color, everything. Let's get into it. So <laughs> there are three products that are launching in this collection. The Nova Beauty Snatched Lip Liner, the Nova Beauty Cream Lipstick, and the Nova Beauty High Shine Lip Gloss. We're gonna test all of that out today for you. Let's get started with the lip liners. They have come out with 10 shades of this double-ended diamond precision tip and blending brush. And I'll show you that in a second. It's two in one though, the formula, you're supposed to be able to use it as a lipstick and a lip liner. You can just carry this around. You don't need to bring a lipstick. The diamond tip never needs sharpening and can get smooth edges. You'll see the brush tip turns the liner into lipstick. We'll test that out today. Long lasting, creamy, doesn't transfer, bleed or smudge. Matte finish, lips don't feel dry and are perfectly hydrated with silk oil. And for a subtle surprise, you can try it as eyeliner. That's pretty cool. And it's supposed to be sensitive skin friendly. Now I've been playing with these. I know whether or not I can confirm or deny these claims, but let's get into the colors here. Put all them out. So let's just take a closer look at the packaging here. This is what it looks like and the product is made in Korea and typically from my experience, Korea makes really great makeup particularly lip products. It has a soft matte component which I think is really beautiful. So here is what the tip of the lip liner looks like. This is that diamond head tip right there that they're talking about. And then the other side is the lip brush, which is gonna help you blend it out. So I'm gonna swatch all of them for you and then I will do a demo. So first we have Nude 01. You can see how creamy that was. This is a great everyday color. This is Pink Nude 01. I should probably swatch those a little closer. <laughs> nude 02, a little deeper. That's kind of the everyday color I would typically go with. Then we have Pink Nude 02. This is the one that I've been wearing a lot. You can see how they're gliding. Red 02, Ooh, that looks beautiful. Coral 01, Red 01. You can see how, uh, depending on the angle that I do, I can get it thin or thick. Then we have Magenta 01, super pigmented. Brown 01, oh, I think that was blurry in case you missed it. That's Brown 01. And then the deepest shade is Brown 02. So these are a great line of colors. We have a lot of nudes. We have some reds, some brights, some browns. So there's a shade for everybody. Let's, let's play around with them. Just to show you how I use them, let's get nice and close. I use my pinky to give me some control and stability. And I start off with the diamond and then I just move it across the outside of my lips. You can see how easily it's gliding. Super creamy, really comfortable. 
The shape really allows you to play around with the thinness and the thickness that you want to get from the product. And if you want, go in with your favorite lipstick or lip gloss at this point, but you, they're so creamy that I've used them as a nice lipstick. It's like this. And then you can use the brush side to kind of blend it out and use it as lipstick. Since they're so creamy, before they set down, it should blend out pretty easily. Now, you can use the brush to get more of like a blurred natural lip look, or you can just really fill it in to get something that's definitely more opaque. I've also mixed them a little bit, so I'm gonna use some of Nude 01 in the center to brighten it up just a little bit, just to add a little bit more dimension. See how that lightened up the look, added a little bit more dimension. You can even go in with a darker shade. I'm gonna use Brown 01 just along the outsides to give more definition. So these are great just to throw in your purse so they don't take up as much room. I'm going to use the lip brush to even blend it a little bit. Not that I need to, but you have that option. And you can see I literally just layered three of these lip liners and my lips don't even look dry. Feels really, really comfortable. I've been very happy with these lip liners and using them recently. So these are really, really neat. I'm very, very impressed. They last a long time. They're perfect for layering with other lip products. And again, I love the color range that they have, so they're great to be worn on their own as well. I want to show you how pretty the Coral Zero One is for the summer. Just gonna wipe this off real fast. So I know my eye makeup is like super crazy right now, but this Coral One, I wore this the other day with like a very neutral look, false lashes, and this on the lips, and it was so so pretty. Look at that pigment. I wanted to show you how pigmented the bright shades are. I'm gonna use my brush, blend it out, make everything nice and even. So beautiful. Anyways, arguably, I mean, I like everything in this line, but the lip liners are top notch and they're only $10, which I think is a really great price for something so versatile. So those are the lip liners. Next, let's move into the cream lipsticks. They are only gonna be $12 each. And I forgot to mention this, but Nova Beauty is gonna be vegan and cruelty-free, so it's gonna be great for everybody. Get this, they've launched 26 shades, which is insane, in three different finishes finishes, a matte, a satin, and a shimmer finish. So what they claim, and a little bit about this formula, is that this luxurious lipstick features soft focus pigments and a 3D polymer that locks in color. 26 shades of medium buildable, full coverage moisture. So let's look at the components first and a little bit more about the product. These are also made in Korea. Again, Korean lipsticks tend to be chef's kiss from my experience. It also is in a soft matte component. It says Nova Beauty right here and it has a magnetic closure, which I think makes it feel and seem much more high quality. For $12, the lipsticks definitely have a very high end feel. I noticed particularly the mattes, but all of them do have a long wear to them. And they're pretty moisturizing as well. As somebody who typically has drier lips, I haven't had an issue with these. Especially with the satin finishes as well, those are definitely going to be the most moisturizing. But even the matte's not bad. Okay, so I'm going to swatch these by the finish since there are 26 shades. So let's do it. This is a task. We'll start off with the matte range, which has six different shades. You'll see I couldn't get some of the lip liners <laughs> off. <laughs> I dread. Okay, so let me show you the colors. This first one is Tone. Again, these are from the matte range. Uh, that is the perfect nude, right? This next one is Poppin', which is more pinky mauve. This is the color that I've been wearing the most. It's my perfect everyday color. You can see these are the matte finish, but they're swatching nice and smooth. This one is Heaven, another really great everyday color. Pleasure has a little bit more depth in there, but it still is such a wearable pink. Real is a really unique color. I feel like it's almost an orangey, apricot-y kind of nude. And then lastly, we have Attached. I haven't worn this one yet, but it's the deepest in the matte finish. But all of the mattes, super wearable. You saw how smooth and pigmented they swiped. Okay, I can't help myself. I just want to show you how some of the mattes apply. I'm going to show you Poppin, which is my favorite shade, <laughs> but all of them are really great. So look, these are the matte finish, but you can see how creamy they're applying. And they don't have full opacity, but you can build it up, which I actually prefer that. I think that's what gives this the smoothness and makes it more everyday friendly. So 
with full opacity lipsticks, I feel like you need to have a, a lip liner. But with this, you don't need a lip liner. And you can build it up to get that full opacity, completely smooth application, buildable to full coverage. You can define the lips even without a lip liner. I told you guys, I was really impressed. So those are the matte lipsticks. Let's get into the satin finish now. So this first one is OG. Cutie is a lighter nude pink. Dream. Another nice wearable shade. Whoa. Shade Vibes, I think is so unique. It's such a pretty terracotta nude. Divine. This one's a little bit more peachy. Ooh, this one is fun. Deeper skin tones. This is going to look great on you. Reset. Look at that. One swipe. That has a lot of pigment. Extra is exactly what the name represents. <laughs> okay, this is a crazy fiery red. This is Blaze. It's a little bit more magenta red. Then look at this one. This one is so out of my comfort zone, but it's so fun. This is Day Trip. That hot, hot Barbie pink. This is a lighter Barbie pink. It's BB Girl. Insane. Okay, we're still going. We have Rosette, which is a pretty kind of classic bright rose. 100. It's kind of like that perfect red. Then we have a deeper red in Flare. Nice. Okay, these last three deeper skin tones, you're going to love these. So we have Indulgence. Look at that. So stunning. Napa. Look how deep that is. And then the final one is Royalty. Look at that. This range, so beautiful. They have wearable shades, bright shades. And what I love about the range of these lipsticks is they're gonna complement all skin tones. Any kind of makeup preferences that you have, they have a color for it. So these are just the satin ones. Crazy. You guys know I'm like all up over here. <laughs> I want to give you a little satin lipstick demo so you can kind of see. Should we go crazy bright orange with reset? I just want to show you. We're just going to play. I actually haven't tried this one because it's very out of my comfort zone, but let's play with the pigmentation and all of that. I mean, I thought it was, okay, ignore my application. <laughs> I thought it was pretty pigmented from the start, but wow, you can really build it up. Ignore the application. This is embarrassing. I just wanted to try the color. And you can see the satin, it has more of a glow compared to the matte. You're wondering why I'm not doing lip swatches like of every single color, it's because my lips would literally fall off. My lips are very sensitive, but if you are interested, I am uploading a few TikToks as well, doing different lip combos with these. So if you want to see more of the colors in action, stay tuned for that. Um, I think let's put on a little bit of Divine. Now, this is like more my speed for an everyday pink. I can't believe these are $12. I think they're so high quality. I love them. Okay, so those are all the satin lipsticks. Let's finish off with the shimmer finish. It's only three, so... <laughs> We won't go crazy with the swatches. Okay, so the shimmer finish ones are really, really fun. I'm gonna show you days first. So this one is like more of a wearable orangey peach and you can see the shimmers. I think these are really fun over a lip liner to kind of change up the finish. The next one is sequin. This one I can definitely see for clubbing purposes like that. And the last one is lavish. This one. I feel like it's a little bit more satin. I feel like it doesn't have as much shimmer as the others, but they say it is a shimmer. I don't know, but it's still a crazy awesome color. So these are the three in the shimmer family. Okay, I'm gonna show you them because they're so cool. My lips are about to fall off, but let me show you first Days, which is the more wearable one. Again, I think these look really great over a lip liner first. But you'd think sometimes with these shimmer finishes, they have kind of like a gritty feeling to them. Still just as smooth of an application. This one is fun, even on bare lips. I like that. Mm, that's actually quite wearable. I didn't think it was. Okay, I've used sequin before, and I wasn't expecting it to be so shimmery. So the first time I used this, I was like, whoa! <laughs> but it actually is really fun for like clubbing or a fun evening. Look. See how metallic? <laughs> that is and again the smoothest application Anyways, so these lipsticks are bomb if you didn't gather that and one of my favorite things about these lipsticks is their color range and how creamy every single formula applies So let me clean myself up and we're gonna finish off with the lip glosses 
last products in the lip collection are the lip glosses. So Nova launched 14 different shades. All of them, again, such good colors that they picked out. Some of them have like little metallic glitters in there. Some of them are a little bit more flat. So they are gonna be $14 each. And let me show you the component here. So it's in a pretty classic lip gloss style packaging with the soft matte Nova Beauty. The one thing I will note is that these kind of do squeak, some of them. This is the only product of the liners and the lipsticks that actually does this. So that's just something that I noticed and you might want to look out for. But other than that, I mean, it's just kind of a classic doe foot applicator. You can get a look right here. From what I've tried so far, these are a really nice kind of classic lip gloss formula. They're not too sticky, so your hair isn't gonna stick to your lips or anything. They give nice moisturization to the lips. It's not too heavy, so it glides on the lips nice and smooth and feels nice on the lips. Lasts a good amount of time as well. Makes anything you're wearing underneath more comfortable. I mean, it's just a really great classic lip gloss formulation. I'm just gonna throw on the clear right now while I'm talking. I love the clear. I'll use it instead of chapstick because I like the glow it gives. No stick, really comfortable. Okay, I'm gonna swatch the colors for you so you know what we're working with. Okay, so the first one that we have is thick which is the, the clear one that I just showed you. Obviously, we're not gonna get too much color from that one. Then we have, if you know, you know, which is a lighter pink. This is what it swatched is like. So you see it does leave a little subtle pink color there. Then we have no cap. I'm definitely not cool enough to be saying these names out loud, <laughs> but this one gives a little bit more pigment as you can see. Then we have tea, which you see has a little bit more of a glimmery finish to it. So that'll add some nice dimension on the lips. Thirsty is a little bit more orange and this one has the glimmers. It's a little bit more of a sheer color. Secret is a glimmery pink. This is secret. That one has some color to it if you're into that. And we have Paloma. So we're getting into the brighter colors now. So Paloma does not have any glitters and it has a lot of pigment to it. Fire. It's a fiery color with a little bit of glimmer. Look at this. Beautiful. I love this shade, so unique. Then we have Sauce, getting a little brighter here. So here is Sauce. This one has a little bit more pink to it. Peridot is a purple blue duochrome. Look at that. Last two, Moody. This one's beautiful. I used to have a lip gloss that looked like this growing up that I was obsessed with. Love the glimmers in that one. And then the last one is the deepest and brightest. This is Dime. And that's what Dime looks like. Full of pigments, as you can see. So with the lip glosses, you have a really nice range. Some are pigmented, some are a little bit more sheer, some have glimmers, some have a flat finish. So they covered all of the bases here with the lip glosses. I'm gonna put on one of the brighter colors so that you can see really the opacity and everything. So we're gonna use Dime. So these are a great gloss for day or night because of the options that you have and they're so comfortable and they can be worn on top of any lip colors or alone. So this was the darkest, scariest color and you can see I got it to be more wearable, but we can also layer it up, especially if you put red lip liner and lipstick underneath. This will be the perfect finish, but it still is quite wearable. But you can also build up the pigment and you see that it covers all of the lines on my lips, makes my lips look nice and juicy. So, oh, and if you're offended by scent, these do not have a scent. That's also something to note. Let me pull myself together and I'm gonna put a lip on with you guys and I'll give you my final thoughts on this whole collection. I wanted to put together a whole lip for this look for you guys. So I'm gonna start off by lining with the pink nude lip liner. You guys know I love a good pinky nude lip so I had to do that for my demo. So this is pretty close to my natural lip color which I really like because we have very bright eyes on. And then for lipstick, I chose to go with Cutie, which again, the perfect nude pink. It has enough depth to bring out your lips, which might have disappeared with the crazy eye makeup, but it still isn't too bright. For lip gloss, I was stuck between these two. If you know, you know. I think I actually will go with this one because it goes with my eyeshadow. I was gonna do no cap to kind of mute the lips a little bit more, but let's go with, if you know, you know. This one is a little bit more sheer. 
but it does add a really pretty milkiness to this lip. Perfect pink nude, I must say, and super duper comfortable. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video of me just swatching, playing around with the new Nova Beauty lip collection. I mean, you guys know I'm all about the quality and I think these are fabulous quality. I wouldn't have agreed to this partnership if that weren't the case. This is way beyond my expectations. And I just think it's great, all of the colors that they are launching in this range because I feel like there's a color for everybody. Every skin tone, every makeup preference. Nova Beauty really knocked it out of the park with this launch. So I'm definitely looking forward to see what they have in store for their future launches. My absolute favorite product is the lip liners. I think they're just so creamy and versatile, but of course the lipstick range cannot be beat and the lip glosses are quite versatile as well. The best part is they're all a really, really great price. So a huge thank you to Nova Beauty for reaching out to me for this partnership and sponsoring today's video. It truly was a pleasure to work with these products. I really enjoyed them. So I will have the link down below where you guys can shop Nova Beauty and all of these beautiful lip products. Let me know what colors spoke to you and which ones you're interested in picking up. Thank you so much for liking this video and subscribing to my channel and I will catch you guys in the next one. I've been wearing these lip products for like the last month and haven't been able to disclose them in my description boxes. So now I'm happy that I can. Bye guys, have a good one.